Hey guys, this is Kate and in this video I will show you how to use watercolor pencils. I will walk you through 12 different techniques step by step and share some tips and tricks. First, we will need some watercolor pencils. I use Kohinoor Mandalus brand. They are really beautiful artist grade pencils and are a real bargain if you buy them online. Next are scissors or a craft knife or just any razor that you have at home. We will be using it for shaving pencils. Paint brushes, a round and a flat one. I use synthetic brushes, they are really good with watercolor pencils. Soft but at the same time firm enough for pushing the pigment around. Some masking tape. I love sparkly stuff so yep, sparkles it is. Then we will need some soft clean tissues. And of course watercolor paper. First, I prepare the 12 rectangles by sticking the masking tape onto the paper. I use Fabriano cold press watercolor paper, it has a grainy texture to it and I enjoy working on a textured surface. You can also use hot press paper for any of these techniques, that is paper that has very smooth texture. You will definitely need watercolor paper because first of all pencils won't blend well on say for example sketching paper or printer paper. And paper that is not meant for water-based paints will warp almost as soon as you put water on it. The first technique I will show you is a solid color. I go over the first rectangle with an even layer of red. You can use any color you like. The point of this is that you use a dry pencil on dry paper. The more you press on the pencil, the more pigment will be left on the paper. But make sure you don't press too hard and don't ruin the tooth of the paper. The best approach here is layering. That way you get a saturated color and the surface of the paper will stay intact. You can leave this layer as is, just like a colored pencil layer, without applying water to it. I often use this technique on finished paintings to give them some texture. A bright color will look even brighter on a dark background. After I am happy with it, I take my flat brush and dip it into water. I scrub off the excess water against the rim of the glass and pass over this layer. You do not need a lot of water when using watercolor pencils, in fact, moderate amount of water is always better as you keep the color saturated and have more control over it. As you touch the paper where the pencil has been applied, you will activate the paint, it will become a lot brighter and livelier. Notice how water dissolves the pigment and allows it to fill in those tiny crevices in the paper. I pass over the rectangle multiple times with my brush to make sure I have an even wash throughout. Let's move on to the next technique. I use a different color for this one. Here I want to make a gradient from one color to the white of the paper. This is a great exercise to help you practice creating different values with one color. I take my blue pencil and pass over the rectangle from left to right and as I move towards the right side I make my strokes lighter. This way I create a gradient. Then I dip my flat brush into water, take the excess water off to make sure that I do not flood the paper and start to wet the paper from the lightest area to the darkest, that is from right to left. If I were to move from the blue into the white, I would risk moving too much pigment into the white and covering it, losing the gradient. With watercolor pencils, it is always best to move from lightest into the darkest areas, that way you will be able to keep your lightest lights. Next, let's do another gradient, but this time I will drag the pigment from one spot across the whole rectangle. Again, I make my left the dark side. I layer dry yellow pencil on dry paper, but only in one part of the rectangle. Then, I take a damp brush and drag the pigment across the, to the right. I wash my brush to take away excess pigment and continue moving to the right. Now let's do a gradient with two colors. I use red and yellow for this one. On one side of the rectangle I layer red and on the opposite side I layer yellow. Then, starting from the lightest, I start to activate the paint. I pass multiple times over the area where the colors blend to get a smooth transition. Remember, you can always layer colors on top of the existing layers when they are dry, so you can make it as saturated as you like. 
within reasonable margins, of course. At a certain point, the paint will simply not layer anymore, but it takes many, many layers to get to that. But I will show you this, how it works in the next video that I do. Next is a technique when you use the pencils as watercolor paint. That is, you lift the pigment onto your brush and paint with it. Let's do another even layer of paint with one color, again, but using this approach. I layer a rich red spot on the side of the paper and then use my damp brush to activate the pigment. As I do so, the brush gets saturated with the pigment and I can paint with it. I cover an even red wash over the rectangle, just like using watercolor. Now let's do something similar, but this time I will use two colors instead of one and mix them as I activate the pigment. I mix my red with my blue and get a nice purple. I cover only one side of the rectangle. Then I add the yellow and mix the color in the middle. Again, just like using watercolor. By the way, here's a tip. If the tip of your pencil breaks while you color with it, if you wet the pencil for wet application and don't let it dry before you press a bit too much with the pencil onto the paper, it can break. So beware. beware. Or if you break it while you are sharp sharpening it, um, then do not throw it out. Clean the dust away and dilute it with water. This way you can use it as watercolor paint. So no waste here. For the next technique, we will wet the pencil. I take my round brush, dip it into the water and rub against the tip of the pencil. This way I saturate my brush with the pigment and I can paint with it. It's similar to the previous techniques where I lifted the pigment off the paper, the difference being that I lift the pigment directly from the pencil itself. The next technique is shaving. I wet the paper and then with the sharp size of the scissors blade, I shave the pencil onto the paper. You can use as many colors as you like, depending on what you are painting, it's a great way to create some interesting texture. Now I repeat the same process all over, but this time I will pass with a damp brush over the area and drag the color as I move the brush. Now I will show you how you can create the paint splatter. Take a wet brush and press it against the tip of the pencil. As it flicks off the tip of the pencil, it will splatter the paint onto the paper. I love paint splashes. You can use one color or multiple. If you don't want your colors to mix on the paper, let the first layer dry and then splash some more with another color. For the next technique, I wet the paper and then I draw with the pencil while the surface is still wet. This makes the mark more saturated, but notice how the colors mix if you apply them without letting the previous layer dry. You can use that to your advantage, creating a particular texture or effect, but pay attention to the fact that the pencil marks applied onto a wet paper will not move as easily as activating a dry pencil and will stay more prominent. Next, I will show you what you should not do. Do not dip your pencils into water. It might ruin the wood of the pencil and with it the pencil itself. If you do want to use the wet pencil technique, you can sharpen your pencil with a craft knife, revealing about one centimeter of the inside of the pencil and then dipping it into the water. And finally, you can create an interesting multiple color strokes with a brush. I use my flat brush and add blue on one side of it and yellow on the other. Then I paint with it. This way the brush is loaded with two colors and creates a soft transition between the two.
And yes, one last thing, you can lift the paint off the paper just like you would do with watercolor. Simply add water to the dry area you wish to lift off the paint off, scrub gently with your brush and dab with a clean tissue. I hope you found this tutorial useful and if so, click the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and for other tips and tricks videos on watercolor and watercolor pencils. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Ciao!